in today's video, Jan Blahovic undergoes eye surgery following win over Alexander Rakic. Tony Ferguson explains why he declined to appear on Joe Rogan's podcast. Daniel Cormier responds to Tony Ferguson's comments and explained how their beef started. Mohamed Usman on the opportunity to compete on the Ultimate Fighter 30. Let's roll. All right, let's get this show started. At UFC Vegas 54, Jan Blahovic managed to defeat Alexander Rakic after the Austrian star went down with a nasty knee injury in the early stages of the third round. On Tuesday, the former UFC champ underwent eye surgery to fix damage done to his eye in the main event collision. After the surgery, Blahovic shared a quick update on his eye. Here's the video. Okay, so we do this monster jury, they fix my eye. They put something inside for he, uh, six weeks, some kind of tube. Uh, so after six weeks, I need to take it out, and that's it. I'm still feel the drugs that they give it to me, and I enjoy it very much. <laughs> okay, have a nice weekend. Week. Not weekend. All best. <laughs> Following UFC 274's loss, Tony Ferguson got into Twitter beef with Daniel Cormier, the former heavyweight champion turned UFC commentator. Ferguson decided to diss Cormier for Towelgate and missing weight which caused Cormier to chirp back. El Kukui has also declined to appear on Rogan's podcast, The Joe Rogan Experience. In an interview with Submission Radio, Ferguson had this to say about commentators. I always give props to John Anik because he would always kind of speak up for me, but they, Cormier and Rogan, don't mind bagging on me. I'm the only person that told Joe no for his podcast. I have my reasons for it, but I got a lot of respect for Joe and what he has done for the sport and for himself. But you know, I'm not best friends with him. I don't got to be best friends with him. Same thing with Cormier. Speaking on the most recent episode of the DC and RC show, Daniel Cormier responded to Tony Ferguson's recent comments and explained how their beef started. Here's the clip. And that is one of the biggest issues that I have had with Tony Ferguson is literally my relationship with Habib. I did an interview with him for my YouTube channel the other day. And, bro, we're talking off air, and it was fine. We spoke about wrestling, our heroes, all these great things. The interview starts, and he immediately brings up Habib Nurmagomedov. So as we're going forward in the interview, I ask him a follow-up question on that. I go, Tony, do you think maybe... You should live in the now. Not worry about Habib. That's a confrontation mm. that you never got to have. And he's threatened to walk off the interview. And, and now he comes at me. Bro, what are you worried about me for? Michael Chandler kicked you in the face, bro. There's three <laughs> names. DC, RC, and at times there's an MC. Worry about MC, not me. Right. I'm retired. I'm the heavyweight. But it's like he has these issues with Habib. And... It, it, because of these issues with Habib, he continues to come at me, which I don't quite understand. When you lose in the way that he did, bro, you got to go away for a little bit, man. Like, take some time, like, recover, like, get your mind, get your mind back in a place where you can go and compete effectively instead of trying to fight with the guy that commentates the fight. He attacked me. He attacked Rogan. He attacked everybody, bro. But John Anik, which is very weird because one time we got on a, 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 a fighter meeting, and he wouldn't speak to John Anik. So the guy's just like all over the place, man. And it's kind of crazy. Dude needs to take a break and, and rest and recover. Because this dude's tripping. And, and then the accusations, right? When you start to accuse a guy of drug use, now you're starting to play a different game. Because obviously, you know, we're family men and we 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 don't I don't do stuff like that. And I've never done that. So it's like hard to for someone to say something like that to me. Mohamed Usman has become the second in his family to compete on The Ultimate Fighter after his brother Kamaru won it all on The Ultimate Fighter 21 over Hader Hassan. 
Mohammed entered the Ultimate Fighter 30 with some big stage MMA experience already, having fought in the PFL for the 2021 season. The 33-year-old competes at heavyweight and has a record of 7 wins and 2 losses and had gone 4-1 in his last 5 fights. Speaking to UFC News, the younger Usman brother discussed being on the Ultimate Fighter 30 and explained why he believes he's the one to win the season. Here's the clip. It feels amazing getting this opportunity. Um, it, it, felt, it felt right. It felt like it was the right moment. It was the right time uh, for me on my MMA journey. And um, I got everybody's blessings and, uh, and it just felt right. It just felt organic and uh, I'm just here to compete and uh, show them why I belong here. Yeah, all around when, uh, when I told my brother, he was, uh, he, he was, he was very excited. Uh, it, was just, it was just time. You know, I'm, I'm going on, what, six years now uh, doing MMA, so, uh, and I have my ups and downs, and uh, I've gotten, I've, uh, I've spent that time, you know, I've took some losses, and, uh, you know, wins, and it's all, all that has just made me ready for this opportunity in this moment. I think I'll be the one because I am the one, simple as that. Uh, I feel like everything is organic, everything is uh, free-flowing, uh, like uh, and that's why I really attest that to just like my brother uh, Rashad Evans, all my guys that have really mentored me is like uh, when it's your time, it's your time, and everything flows like water. You don't have to stress it. You don't have to force it. I don't, you know, I don't have to be in there anxious. I don't have to be nervous. I'm just gonna go in there, do what I do, compete, win, and go home with the with the uh, with the with the tough 30 championship uh, trophy, whatever they give us this show. Cause I know the difference to different shows and my brother still got that motorcycle. So whatever they give us the show, I'll be excited. Here are the top three memes you guys posted on MMAmemes.com. In third place is a meme posted by user Sweet Baby Gang for Life. Second place goes to Dome Mike. And the number one voted meme was posted by a user named Msty. If you want your meme to be included in our next video, go to MMAmemes.com and create your own meme. The top three memes will be placed at the end of our video. Thank you guys for watching. If you liked the video, please leave a like and subscribe to our channel to keep up with the latest MMA news.